हेलो बच्चों कैसे हैं आप सब लोग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम इज गोइंग वेल जस्ट आई थिंक अराउंड वन वीक इज देर फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम होप यू आर स्पेंडिंग ए मच टाइम इन स्टडीज एंड नॉट वेस्टिंग अदर वे इज राइट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स यू नो मैसेज मी एंड रोट इन कमेंट ऑल्सो दैट सर रिवाइज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चैप्टर so in this video we will revise the electricity chapter see watching video only watching video may not help so i request you to copy those points right everybody chalo without wasting much time let us start the video one thing remember this board exam is the chance to prove yourself even like you know your parents will be proud if you get a good result even you will be proud and you will be confident when you will go to the college that i also can do it something different which you haven't done 1 to 9th like it was in your teacher's hand right many things but this is board exam no discrimination no partiality so i request you study well put all the efforts and hope you know trust you will get a good result surely you will get a good result right many students like you know always their face down i did not got well like i prepared well but nothing is there in the hand of a teachers now everything what you write you will get it so chalo start karte hain and hope you all will write down this notes and explanation you will listen very carefully See in electricity chapter we started with electric current, right? Elect what is exactly the electric current is you know? See electric current is nothing but the flow of charge in unit time. Flow of charge, charge is nothing but Q and time. This electric current is denoted by I. Okay? The SI unit of electric current is ampere. What is the SI unit of electric current? Ampere. See what is one ampere then? One ampere is nothing but one coulomb of charge flowing in one second. One coulomb of charge is flowing in one second. Electric current is measured by using an instrument called ammeter. Ammeter is an instrument by which we can measure how much amount of current is flowing in a circuit. Ammeter is always connected in a series. Ammeter is always connected in a series. It is connected in series and because it is having a what resistance? It is having a low resistance. Remember, if they ask difference between uh, ammeter and voltmeter, you know voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference, right? In the next we will learn. But this is about ammeter. One more thing is the galvanometer. See, galvanometer is not used to measure amount of current. Galvanometer is used to detect a small amount of current also it just it is used to detect the current you can say detect the current remember this it is used to detect the current now what is potential difference potential difference is denoted by v and potential difference is nothing but work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point what is potential difference work done to move a unit charge from one point to another point is called the potential difference unit is joule per coulomb or you can say volt okay the potential difference is measured by using an instrument called voltmeter it is measured by using an voltmeter used to measure the potential difference it is always connected in a parallel remember always connected in a parallel and it is having an high resistance the voltmeter is having an what resistance high resistance everybody clear whether you all understood this this part it is clear this is first basic part see what device what device is used to maintain the potential difference remember cell or battery is used to measure used to maintain the potential difference if cell or battery is not there no potential difference no potential difference no flow of charge no flow of charge no current remember everybody you are getting it my point understood now if we go to the uh, next part of this what you know calculate the number of elect number of electron in one coulomb of charge number of electron in one coulomb of charge this is very important can come in for two mark in one coulomb of charge number of electron in one coulomb of charge so we have a one formula to you know to write to find number of electron in a one coulomb of charge q is equal to n into e okay q is equal to n into e so what is you know we want to find for one coulomb that is q is one coulomb we want to find how many 
what is the charge on each electron the charge on each electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 this you should remember charge on each electron is charge on each electron is 1.6 into 10 to, the, 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb so if you want to find out n then this will come across n is equal to 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so n is equal to 1 divided by 1.6 and if this is go in numerator it will become positive 10 power 19 will become 1 divided by 1.6 if you multiply with 10 10 also you will get n is equal to 10 by 16 into 10 power 19 if you divide 10 by 16 in 10 ta 16 table 10 will not come so 0 0 0.6 16 6 are 96 16 2 are 32 16 5 are 80 you will get 0 0.625 into 10 power 19 electrons electrons will get okay but you know standard way of writing is after first number the point will come so if you shift the point right side it will become n is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons will become hope it is clear i wrote here and there but you copy it is not difficult is it clear what is the answer how many electrons are present in one coulomb of charge 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons are there everybody clear now so now if we go for ohm's law according to ohm's law what it states that a potential difference across the ends of a conductor potential difference across the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to current flowing through it okay so if the potential difference it means that if potential difference increases then current also will increase if you remove the proportionality then you can write r r i will become this is the ohm's law formula r is a proportionality constant and it is known as resistance okay it is known as resistance so what is the resistance resistance is the property of a material to resist the flow of charge resistance it is the ability or property of a material to resist the flow of charge and si unit of resistance si unit of resistance is ohm okay it is related by omega omega it is right everybody remember a very good conductor have low resistance a good conductor you can say conductor or good conductor have low resistance and insulators insulators have high resistance remember you are getting it my point okay and now if we go for the resistivity part if we go for the resistivity part then we will derive a formula for that see you know resistance is directly proportional to length more the resistance more the length more the resistance and resistance is inversely proportional to area and resistance actually depend on four factor temperature area length and nature nature of material what are the factors affecting the resistance temperature area of cross section length and nature to uh, temperature and length the resistance is directly proportional to area resistance is inversely proportional you are getting it my point okay so if you combine this two you will get r proportional to l into 1 l by a r is equal to rho l by a rho is nothing but resistivity rho is nothing but what everybody resistivity and si unit of resistivity is Yes, si unit of resistivity is ohm meter remember this resistivity is also known as specific resistance resistivity is also known as what specific resistance everybody clear everyone clear one one device is there the name of that device is rheostat do you know about rheostat everybody anyone what is rheostat see rheostat is a device which is in by using this device we can change the current we can change the current okay without changing it in the potential difference without changing potential difference we can change the current amount of current in the circuit you know regulator fan regulator correct fan regulator is the perfect example for rheostat we can change the current without changing in potential difference is it clear boys and girls everybody any doubt any doubt you know that uh, one question can come in exam that uh, why are coils of electric toaster 
and electric iron are made of an alloy. See alloy of pure alloy rather than pure metal. See electric toaster. Electric toaster and those uh, iron box. They are made up of alloy. They are made up of what? Alloy, not a pure metal. Means we are not using a pure metal. Why we are using an alloy? Because alloy have more resistivity. Alloy have more resistivity or more resistance than their pure metal. Okay, they have higher resistivity than a pure metal. Okay, and uh, they do not melt. I mean, you know, they don't get oxidizer. They don't get melt. They have high melting and boiling point. High melting point and boiling point. Who high have this alloy have high melting and boiling point? So because of this reason, they are used in those uh, heater, uh, toaster, iron box. They have high melting point and boiling point. More resistivity. You remember this. More resistivity, high melting point and high boiling point. You are getting it? Okay. And mainly uh, the alloy which is used is nichrome. Which one? Nichrome. You got it my point. Nichrome is alloy which is normally used in uh, this electric toaster and uh, heater, uh, geyser, whatever you call. Even your iron box has three. You know, three. Right. Now, if we go for the next topic, uh, then resistors are connected in series. See, if the resistance resistors are connected end to end, then they are said to be they are connected in series if they are connected end to end then they are said to be in series okay always the current flow from positive okay this is r1 r2 and r3 the condition in the series is that there the current flowing through each register is same potential difference across each register is different okay so we'll get v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 v is nothing but i r s will come because total resistance total potential difference is supplied here v1 is nothing but i r1 this potential difference v1 is nothing but it is across resistance one so i r1 i r2 and i r3 will come i is common here r1 r2 and r3 here is i r s you can see this i and i get cancelled rs is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 total resistance is equal to sum of the individual resistance in series total resistance is equal to sum of the individual resistance and remember the total resistance is greater than total resistance rs is greater than rs is greater than individual resistance whether you understood rs is greater than individual resistance and the like rs whatever will come it will be greater than r1 greater than r2 and greater than r3 is it clear everybody okay if they give you 5 6 and 7 then total resistance will be added 5 plus 6 plus 7 11 plus 7 18 ohm is it clear and if they give potential differences 6 then you can write i is equal to v by r so v is 6 and r is 18 1 by 3 nothing but 0 0.33 ampere current and 0 0.33 ampere current is flowing through r1 r2 and r3 that is 0 0.33 0 0.33 and 0 0.33 only current flows in series same current flows through each resistance hope you understood everybody any doubts are there in this till now what i explain any doubts are there anyone revision even we will do on uh, heat i mean magnetic effect of electric current also just subscribe the channel share with your friends so we'll be updated even we will do revision on other chapters also in this video this much and next video will continue from parallel and will complete the revision everybody understood if you understood and if it is a profitable to you then press a like or else unlike thank you so much everybody thank you We'll meet it again.